Hey guys, Jeremy from ZenBelly.com and ZenBelly channel over at YouTube. I just want to give a quick video response and shout out to Iris over at Iris UC Vlog is her YouTube channel. Um, she also has a website, RhodesBand.com. If you're into good music, go check it out. She's the drummer. They rock. Um, anyway, I just want to say uh, thanks for the videos I went through. You subscribed to my channel. I went through your videos and I actually learned quite a bit. Uh, the one that really stuck out the most um, and I'm going to buy some of the products, was the skin care and the hair loss remedies. I hadn't actually heard about the hair loss um, tied with UC. Um, I guess I, now that I look, it's it's out there, but I guess I missed that. Um, which actually makes total sense for me because the past two years, I've noticed my hair start getting thinner and receding more. Um, and... Basically, I used to have long hair, and my friends used to joke and call it Keith Urban hair, and I had to cut it off because it was receding a lot and getting thinner, and it would hang kind of funny. It would look like bald spots. So I cut it all off, and uh, this actually makes sense. I told my wife about it, and she just said, no, honey, you're just getting old, but from now on, I'm sticking with it's UC and prednisone. That's why my hair is thin. So thank you for that good excuse. <laughs> but no, I actually believe it is true. Because um, my hairstylist used to say, um, you know, your hair is so thick, and she would thin it out with these shears, and now the other day when I was there, you know, I had mentioned what I said. I mentioned something, and she's like, well, it's because you have thin hair. And then I was like, wait a second, a couple years ago, you used to complain how thick my hair was when you had to thin it out. So, something something going on there. And the other thing that really was the skincare, care, um, I totally can relate to that. I suffered really bad acne on my chest, shoulders, and back, like like dime size, like cystic type. It was bad. Um, it's actually just starting to clear up now. It's been three months since my takedown surgery. When I first went for my checkup after my takedown surgery a week later, I was having fevers really bad, and they weren't sure what it was from. And during that whole time, my acne kept getting worse and worse, and they thought, you know, they fevers, they automatically associated, oh, it must be some sort of infection in your incision, this and this, and they tested the blood, and wasn't really, they weren't sure what it was, and they said, you don't feel any pain, I said no, and then they were like, well, maybe it's this acne, because it's really bad, and I had complained about it before, and, you know, they don't want to prescribe you or put you anything when you're going to surgery, so they just kind of kept putting it off, they're like, you know what, we really need to let you see a dermatologist, because that is really bad, and dermatologist wanted to put me on Accutane, and I didn't want to take that because I just got out of surgery. I was on prednisone still. I didn't want to take any more medication. And Accutane can be pretty harsh. So I decided to wait it out. I was going to give myself like six months to see what happened, um, if the acne cleared up. It's been three months now, and it's actually pretty much all the way gone. There's still a little bit, more or less, just red marks. And uh, I, I have scars now from it. So I want to try the product you talked about. I'm not sure if the one you talked about, I think it was uh, actually help with scars, or there was one on their website. So I'm going to try that out, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. But anyone else watching this video, any of my subscribers, um, check out Iris's uh, video channel. She's got some really good stuff on there. And if you're into really good music, um, check out her band's website, RhodesBand.com. Uh, really good stuff. Thanks again for the post. Uh, talk to you guys later uh, on ZenBelly.com. See ya.